This is Carl Schallhorn from the Debunking Addiction blog on HealthyPlace.com. You know, it was about four or five years ago that I decided to come out about my bipolar disorder condition, and it was prompted by the events that took place around uh, when Britney Spears was in all of the media battling whatever it was, whether it be bipolar disorder, other kinds of issues, who knows, we still don't know. But uh, as a result of that, I began to think, and I was got pretty mad that, you know, oftentimes when we hear about mental illness in the media, it's always usually negative. It's always a, a bad thing. And so I decided to write an article for my local paper, and it was called Many Live Well with an Invisible Disability. Now, that wasn't the original title, but that's what the paper called it. And basically, in the article, I discussed how, you know, many people have a mental illness, but you can't always tell because, after all, it's an invisible disability, right? You can't always tell if a person has a mental health condition. And when I did that, you know, it was a bit of a leap of faith for me because I wasn't working in the mental health field as I do now. In fact, I was working uh, as a college admissions counselor, as of all things. And when I did that, um, you know, not many people on my campus knew, if any, that I was living with bipolar disorder. As a result, it turned out to be a good thing. I got some good feedback from folks. Uh, people were very positive about it. And, you know, I hadn't really had any mental health issues while I was working there. So, you know, it really wasn't a big deal in that respect. Um, but what I did find out, though, it was really interesting, was when I did it, it gave me a sense of empowerment. It gave me a sense of, you know, being more... Um, uh, uh, in control of my own future in terms of how people saw me and not only that it gave me the opportunity to know that I can educate others about mental illness and break down the stigma that surrounds all of us so you know um, I, I at the same respect I didn't walk around with the sign that says bipolar on my chest I didn't do that of course and that was something that really for what it's worth um, you know, I, I felt it wasn't necessary to do that. I, I just simply wanted to live my life, and at every opportunity that I could, I try to help people understand more and more about bipolar disorder. And you know, so I feel better about myself. Um, I feel, uh, you know, more positive. And one thing I have been able to do over the last several years is to speak to groups. And when I do that, it's great. I've spoken to, you know, for instance, church groups. I've spoken to uh, groups of students. Uh, I've spoken to NAMI groups. And uh, when I get an opportunity to do that uh, by sharing my story, uh, it allows me to let people know that, of course, uh, recovery is possible. And it's something that, you know, uh, many of us have some connection with, whether directly or indirectly. You know, we can all relate to mental illness in one form or another. And as I said, you know, just uh, a couple of seconds ago, one of the groups I really enjoy speaking with or speaking to rather is young people. And that's something that really, really, I feel like I can give them the, uh, the knowledge that they know that if they're dealing with these issues, that there is help available. Um, so for me, coming out has been a very positive thing. It's a very helpful thing. I would encourage anybody out there who is interested in speaking out about their illness, you know, you don't have to tell everybody, but there may be a teachable moment, a time when you could uh, share with someone your experience to let them know more about mental illness and what you've been through. And chances are they may be able to relate to it because you may not know about them. You know, you may not know their story. And that's really important, too, because we all have our story. We all have someone that we know that lives with one of these conditions. You know, one out of four people lives with a mental illness. Chances are, if it isn't you, it's someone who you know. So just keep that in mind. And so for me, it's been a very positive thing. I would encourage people to do that whenever and wherever they can. So for that, uh, for the healthyplace.com at Debunking Addiction blog, I'm Carl Schallhorn.